Uh, the main thing that uh, the uh, Palestinian Attorney General confirmed that uh, uh, an Israeli soldier uh, killed uh, uh, Al Jazeera correspondent Shireen Abu Akla. Uh, she was uh, killed uh, by a, a, a direct uh, bullet uh, in the head. And uh, he also confirmed that uh, the diameter of the bullet was 5.56, uh, which was used uh, or used by uh, the NATO. This is very important. And also that he said that uh, Shireen Abu Akla uh, was. Uh, killed on purpose, and the Israeli soldiers were settled on the south side of Shireen Abu Akhla. This is the source of the bullet they were seeing her, and she was known as a journalist by wearing the vest and the helmet as her colleagues, and the Palestinian attorney general said or confirmed that the killing of Al Jazeera correspondent was on purpose. And uh, the uh, investigation uh, results, uh, he said, uh, were handed over to, to the Palestinian uh, uh, President Mahmoud Abbas. And uh, also, he said uh, that uh, she was killed while she was uh, trying and uh, to escape. And this was also uh, on purpose. And uh, this was very important that uh, to confirm that uh, the investigation, Palestinian investigation, had its end. And everyone was waiting for it. And it's very important to uh, know now that uh, the Israeli Bullet, according to this investigation, was the main purpose of killing Shirin Abu Akla. This thing, uh, uh, before going in this live, uh, the, uh, uh, the Israeli defense minister tried uh, not to confirm it, and he in reacted by saying that Shirin was uh, settled in uh, 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 during an activity, military activity, uh, uh, Israeli military activity in Jenin, and she uh, they were they are sorry for her killing, and uh, they they. Uh, asking for, keeping asking for the Palestinian uh, cooperative in the investigation that until now, according to uh, the uh, Israeli Ministry of Defense, uh, the, the Palestinians refused to cooperate in this investigation. Okay. Uh, and just tell us what therefore happens next as far as uh, this, uh, this case is concerned. Now they have the approval, according to the Palestinians, and this will uh, be passed to the uh, Al Jazeera and to the family of Shirin Abu Akla. This, I think, would uh, put an end for the investigation because the Palestinians have uh, the evidence. Uh, they have uh, the facts, as uh, uh, the Akram al Khatib said, that they have the whole facts, and they will uh, having these facts without any pressure from any side. This means that uh, these facts should be continued in uh, having the uh, way of uh, having the uh, way to to help this uh, uh, case uh, by by saying uh, going to the criminal. Uh, International Criminal Court. This is what was confirmed from the Palestinian side and from Al Jazeera channel that said they decided to refer this investigation and the result in this case investigation results to the International Criminal Court. This means that what next is going to the International Court. I think this will be very important because the Israelis refuse that. And all the time they're saying that not only in Shirin's case, in Gaza, uh, four wars uh, war that happened in the several uh, past years, they refuse to have or to share any international or any outdoor investigation. Because of that, uh, this investigation will be from the Palestinian side, from Shirin's family, and from Al Jazeera channel. And we don't know if the Israelis will cooperate in this investigation or having uh, this uh, 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 results to the International Criminal Court. But I think what next is very important for uh, uh, the family and for the Palestinian Authority and for the uh, Al Jazeera uh, channel. If they will go, if they will continue, or they will have pressure to stop where they uh, uh, have now the, the system.